Genetic testing can be a valuable and even life-saving tool, helping people to discover preventable illnesses in themselves and even in their future children. But these benefits should be balanced against certain risks. One risk anyone contemplating genetic testing should consider is the potential misuse of genetic information by insurers, employers, schools, government, and society. A genetic diagnosis can affect an entire family, not just the individual who was tested. The Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, GINA, that President Bush signed on May 21, 2008, protects people from genetic discrimination in employment. The law has many shortcomings, though. It does not cover life, disability, and long-term care insurance. It covers just health insurance. In addition, GINA does not apply when a person at risk for a genetic disease develops symptoms of that disease, for example, breast cancer or Huntington's disease. Besides the possibility of compromised privacy and confidentiality of genetic information, individuals who get genetic testing should be aware that the technology is still in its infancy. As such, other risks include false positive or false negative test results, lack of scientific validity of the test results, a test's failure to detect environmental influences on particular genes, misinterpretation of test results by the person tested, his family, or his doctor, lack of adequate follow-up counseling. Many other risks have important emotional implications. For example, psychological stress after receiving test results, abridgment of the right not to know genetic information, the possibility of close relatives having the same mutated gene raising the issue of the obligation to inform those relatives of test results, false hopes for treatments and cures that do not exist, discovery of misattributed paternity or adoptions. There are many risks associated with genetic technology for society as well as for individuals. When genetic testing becomes more common, possible risks for society are the following. Lack of regulatory oversight. Excessive regulatory oversight. Lack of appropriate authority for genetic decisions, in particular when decisions need to be made on behalf of children and impaired adults. Changes in the definition of what is normal, for example, for deaf and dwarf communities who may wish to choose to have children like themselves. Future elimination of so-called undesirable traits. Limited availability and affordability of testing and treatment for underprivileged individuals. Individual and societal risks are major considerations, but genetic testing of children has particularly important ethical implications. Minors do not have the opportunity to make decisions for themselves about whether or not to be tested. Sometimes adults want their children tested for the wrong reasons. In 1997, an advisory committee of the National Human Genome Research Institute stated that genetic testing of children for adult onset diseases should not be undertaken unless a child would gain a direct medical benefit that would be lost if the child waited until adulthood to be tested. Visit the Personal Genome Project Study Guide website to learn more about the benefits and risks of genetic testing, and to find lessons and practice tests to help you pass the Personal Genome Project entrance exam. You've been Reading Between the Genes with Katrina Voss.